Yeah. 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 Ye
it's a De Vere course, get on, have a look. Um, it's absolutely brilliant. So for you guys that are in the north and it's easily accessible, I'm sure they do some fantastic deals up there. Uh, but yeah, it's a great, great course. A close second to that is a place called, now this golf course changes its name so frequently, it's ridiculous. So the, when I played it, it was called Swindon Pines. It's been called Swindon Ridge. It's been called a lot of different courses, but it's, uh, it's, in, it's in the Midlands, in the black country. Um, and it's, the first name, Swindon Pines, would literally tell you what it is. The first three holes are quite open, up and down, quite open. Then the third, you turn a corner and you literally go into a pine tree wood. It's beautiful. It's very, very much like Woburn. Um, half the price. In fact, it's probably more than half the price. Um, and it's it's fun. It's a fantastic course. A beautiful, beautiful, beautiful course. Um, so yeah, they'll be the two. They'll be my two favourites in the UK. Favourite course that I want to play is up in the northwest. Um, and it is Blackpool, North Shore. Now everyone says, if you're gonna play Blackpool, why not play Royal Liverpool St. Elms? But I, the chap I used to play with has recently passed away. It was his home course. Um, it's obviously personal reasons I wanna play it. Um, but also I've been told it's actually better than Lytham St. Anne's. So I'd like to put that to the test. I'd like to see if it is. So yeah, uh, Blackpool, Royal North Shore is the course that I want to play. Um, so yeah, Sean, I hope that answers you, your questions, buddy. So thank you again for, for another question from you. Next question is from YouTube. Golf Mad Fozzy. What's my current handicap and what do I want to get to by the end of the year? Well, Fozzy, my current handicap, I've kind of sort of got to, if that makes sense. I'll explain why it makes sense. I have my club official Kongu handicap, which is 13.1 which is what I play in all my competitions. Um, but I then have um, a tracking app, uh, which is RNA, it, it, it runs the same figure configuration as the Kongu handicap system, albeit it's just an app, um, keeps all my stats. Now on that, I'm currently playing, I think it's about 12.2. So there's a sort of a shot difference between my Kongu, my official handicap and my track app. So sort of when I play in social, well, to be fair, when I play Saturday morning, I play off scratch um, because I'm not allowed any shots with the people to play with. But competition, I play off 13.1. What do I want to get cut to by the end of the season? Um, realistically, and hopefully, I'm, I want to achieve the quest to single figures. I want to get down to 9, 9.4. Um, that was a worst case scenario. Um, I know I've got a fair old bit of work in certain areas to do to get to that but that's that's where I want to be at Fozzy I want to get down to down to sort of 9.4 so I can say yeah I'm an official single figured handicap now let's concentrate on category one which is all, the ultimate goal for the channel get to get to category one so yeah um, currently I have 13.1 officially and the goal is 9.4 at the end of the season Fozzy so I hope that answers your question thank you very much buddy um, next question <laughs> Simon Parks off Twitter quite possibly the best question I've heard on any Q&A what does my missus or partner say about me being on the golf course so much and playing golf so much well Simon I'm in quite a lucky situation I'm single I have no one to answer to I can play golf when I want sort of I've got two little girls two beautiful little daughters so obviously I sort of do have to answer to them mum but she's a diamond, she's really, you know, she is very, very good. I have, obviously, set times that I see the girls, so providing that doesn't, providing my golf doesn't impede on that time, I've got no answers, I've got no, no problems. If that golf does impede on the time, I'll be wearing my balls and her earrings, in fact. But no, she, she's really good, because obviously she knows when the summer comes and I've got my, um, my match play competitions and my scratch league. She's, she's accommodating, she'll swap that, we'll, we'll, we'll change the days around. So I never miss my time with the girls for golf, ever. And that's sort of, that's the only person I have to answer to. Other than that, I play golf when I want. I play golf when I want for as long as I want. So yeah, I don't really have anyone to answer to. So maybe if you actually, I tell you what, ask that question to Leon, Golf Logs UK. Ask him, stick his link below. 
but I think you already follow it, most of you do. Ask Liam that question to ask answer on his Sunday show. Because I know Liam's got a, a baby girl, and obviously he's married, full-time job, and he's always on the golf course, or literally always on the golf course. So ask that question to Liam. But that's my answer for you, buddy. I, like I say, other than the, my, my little girl's mum, I don't have anyone to answer to, and it's generally not an issue. Um, like I say, if you're on it, doesn't impede on my time with the girls. So that's that one. The next question is from Tom Chegwidin. Mr. Chegwidin on Twitter, or at Mr. Chegwidin on Twitter. And he asks me, what is my most consistent club in my bag? And do I have a consistent shot? I'm assuming he means shot shape. And the answer to that is yes. I play, I'm a natural fader of the ball, so I play with a, a nice little fade like, um, I don't know, Dustin Johnson. I wish. No, I play, yeah, I do, I play with a fade like, like DJ and Colin Montgomery. I can't, I can't play a draw. You're going to have to bear with me this sun. Hopefully it'll go in a minute. I'm going to change direction. Um, yeah, I can't, I can't play with a draw. So I'm literally frozen rope straight or a fade and it's generally you know my general shot is a fade so I know sort of what I'm playing with as a rule most consistent club in my bag three iron what three iron yes I carry a three iron I carry well I swap and change between two um, through the wind well I've got a I play with mp5 blades I'll be doing a what's in the bag soon I play with mp5 blades um, but I have a MPH5 three iron, which is like their utility iron crossover club. So I've got one of those, but I've also got an MP32 blade, uh, which again is a, is a natural pure blade, which a lot of people find intimidating to look at. But I will swap. So when the, the ground firms up and gets nice and hard, the MP32 will be going back in the bag because it's just a bullet machine in the summer. You get on the short par fours, I don't need to hit a driver, I don't need to hit a three, but I'll just rip a three iron. Um, absolutely love that and again the same in the winter I, I use the, the, the MPH5 like a rescue um, so yeah so most consistent club in my bag is most definitely the 3 iron and my consistent shot is um, is a baby, baby fade um, when it gets erratic it's a massive cut um, but again manageable so yeah I, I know my consistent shot is, is left to right so Hope that um, answers your question too, Mr. Chedwin. Chedwin. Um, and guys, that answers everyone's questions. That's all the questions I've got for this week answered. Um, so thank you so, so much for your questions and getting them in again. That's episode seven wrapped up and in the bag. If you've enjoyed what you've watched, please give it a thumbs up. Get your questions in below for episode eight. Again, anything golf related. I'm, I'm happy to answer pretty much anything. Um, please like and subscribe the channel, guys. Um, and then obviously I'll know that I'm doing something right. Thanks so much, and I'll see you soon, guys. Take care.